If you're looking for your very first industry job, you need to be aware that it's not really like it used to be anymore. Some of the changes are ongoing and they're quite revolutionary, so you need to adjust and you need to be ready for them. They include things like why you shouldn't really apply to Facebook and other big corporations right now and what to do instead, what's gonna be the core thing of a designer's job right now because that is also slightly shifting this year, why remote work might be a little bit more difficult to achieve this year, and what does AI have to do with design anyway. Number one, end of an era. For years, big corporations like Meta, Amazon or Google were the primary destination for many designers. After all, they paid well, looked really good on your resume and had things like foosball tables, indoor slides or even wine on tap. And then before leaving for the day, had some red wine um, that's on tap. In 2022 alone, nearly 200,000 people were laid off from big corporations, mostly the US-based ones. And right at the beginning of this year, Amazon is announcing that they're firing another 18,000. Those big companies often overhired, thinking that their growth is gonna last forever. Now they are treating all the people that they hire just like a statistic that needs to be crossed out from an excel table. You can try to join these companies, but they're likely not hiring anymore, so it might be pretty difficult. Instead, explore opportunities in startups and small to medium-sized companies, because in reality you can learn a lot more while working there. There are less processes, there is less bureaucracy, and there is more of actual doing design. This is what you want to learn. Now this next one is kind of a big one, especially for me because I had many bad experiences with this and I'm happy that it's changing. Number two, designers who don't design. I have encountered a lot of meeting room talkers pretending to be designers over the course of my career. They almost never contribute to a project, but they host countless meetings and workshops and talk and ideate and pretend to be smart. And in many cases, when push comes to shove, you realize that they don't really know anything about design. I know design. Show me. You can think what you want about Elon Musk, but his rule of no useless meetings is actually a great one. Most meetings and corporations could be replaced by a single email. What they did at Tesla was one of the very first approaches like that that I've seen, is when you don't contribute to a meeting, you just stand up, walk out and leave. Most meetings are pretty useless and they don't really push the company forward in any way and now in a recession it's even more apparent that this was really a bad idea. Shopify is changing their policies on that as well and they're likely to save 76,000 hours a year with just eliminating useless meetings. That's insane. That means that we're kind of going back to you know designers actually doing design and I believe that's great. If you hoped to slide through the industry from meeting to meeting not really touching any design tool and not doing any actual research, then I think these days are over. And number three, work from home. Companies need to optimize as much as possible and sadly the numbers for work from home don't look that good. Sure, many people, myself included, can do it, can do it very well, but it's not really the case for the majority of the population. Maybe we still really need to learn how to do that as a human race, to respect one another, to respect the employers and the employers to respect the workers, but I believe we're not really there yet. Are we there, are we there yet? Many corporations are tracking what the employees are doing on their computers when working from home and the employees are using super popular and yes, this has been trending on Amazon and eBay for a year or two now, things called the mouse jigglers, which is something that just pretends to move your mouse to pretend that you're working. When you pretend like you're working, son, 
And I go, why don't you pretend I'm working? You get paid more than me, you fantasize. In a way, you could think that people using those mouse jigglers are gaming the system, but they're mostly proving that maybe they don't have anything worthwhile to do at the company, so there probably will be even more layoffs. Pretending to be productive but not really delivering anything is not really a way to game the system. It's just a short-term solution that will backfire and bite you back in the ass. Many brands are now considering work from home to be a failed experiment and are returning to the offices in 2023. I'm a big fan of work from home, but I also understand that it requires a very specific level of work ethic. Many people are simply not yet ready for it, so prepare to be back to the office in 2023. And number four, AI tools. AI tools are growing in popularity and the quality of their output is growing as well. Designers can use tools like ChatGPT to create prompts, descriptions, research ideas or scripts and a lot more. They can use Midjourney for visual style and color inspirations in UI design and other tools to remove backgrounds, upscale images, create fake stock people, or generate custom icons. In 2023, you need to learn how to use those AI tools to get all those repetitive and boring tasks out of the way. And you know what? That way we can focus on what really matters, being creative and solving problems. I'm actually pretty happy that these meeting room talkers and workshop fanatics are gonna be out of the way and enable us to actually do something because the future is going to belong to the doers, not the talkers. That purge is really good for the industry as we're gonna simply get more shit done in less time. What do you think? Are you excited to join the product design industry in 2023? Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and obviously have a beautiful day.